What's up, boosty? We're watching FIFA's worst luck ever. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's see how it goes. In the Moments. World Cup 2010 quarterfinal, 2010 clash between Uruguay and Ghana, Luis Suarez pulled off the most Luis ah. Suarez move in the dying moments of extra time. Ghana had a chance to score the winning goal when they launched a last gasp effort, but Suarez, being, being the, the cheeky, cheeky guy, guy he is, took matches into his own hands, <laughs> literally, and used his hands. Ay, 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 he seemed the ball foul. People remember Maradona's hand of God. Well, this was a hand of Suarez that kept the ball out. And this man, Asamwa Gia. Ay, 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 he's going to miss. Miss. Yes. And he hits the bar. Ay, 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 this guy. Ghana's Asamoah Gian missed the penalty. And Uruguay eventually won in the penalty shootout. Suarez, Suarez couldn't help but celebrate them. his calculated act. Most fans and pundits were divided over whether it was heroic or unsportsmanlike. Suarez aye, aye, wouldn't aye. have been too pleased about this one. Though. Back in 2014, Liverpool were on the brink of their first uh, Premier League title okay. in years. With just three games to go until the fair end enough, of the season, enough. and Steven Gerrard, the beloved captain, was leading the charge. But fate had a cruel cool twist in store. Oh, he slipped! The captain! No way! Oh my god! What a mistake! The man you oh my god, the, the captain literally step. took him out. No way, He's that's so sad. Back. It really was uh, a devastating moment. Gerard's fairy tale title had oh quite my literally god. slipped away from him. Up to the 2010 okay. Europa League final, Fulham's fairy tale run had captured the imaginations of football fans everywhere. They faced mm -hmm. Atletico Madrid, and it was such a nail-biter. Diego Ford, Oof. Atletico's talismanic forward, opened what? the scoring with a goal. But Fulham's Simon okay. Davis then equalized as the match neared its end. No way. struck again. But this time, his shot deflected off a Fulham nah. player and found the back of the net. It was a crushing blow for Fulham, and they couldn't find a response. They tried it's so ongo. hard and got so far, no. but in the end, it didn't even matter. Too Unlike bad. the certain Catalonian clubs, I incredible shithouses. In one of the most dramatic Champions League semi-finals oh. ever. Barcelona faced Chelsea in the 2009-2010 season. The match was going okay, back and okay, forth okay. and Chelsea had managed to hold on to a uh -huh. very slim lead. Damn! Damn, that's a good one and a half, bro. It's a fantastic start for Chelsea! Aye, aye, aye. But in the no. final moment of the second leg, with Chelsea seconds away from victory, Andres Iniesta produced <laughs> of course, magic. Iniesta. It's Iniesta! Oh. And the Chelsea fans oh. cover their eyes what? in horror. That is Two impossible, Sam. And it's heartbreak at Stamford Bridge. Okay. Iniesta rattles you know what happened after and that? suddenly in the minute and a half that remains, Chelsea find themselves near the Chelsea's going to score another goal. No way. Can you believe it? The goal meant Barcelona progressed on away goals, leaving Chelsea fans devastated. To add to the drama, Chelsea had a few penalty appeals <laughs> turned down during the match. And of course, who can forget Didier Drogba's frustrated outburst at the end of the game? And there's the final whistle, and it's Barcelona who are in the final against oh, Manchester United yeah, yeah. in Rome, and John Terry is absolutely furious. <laughs> Chelsea are livid at the rejection <laughs> of their penalty appearance. <laughs> Now let's go to 2016, when it seemed like there was some sort of curse haunting Lionel aye, Messi aye. and Argentina. During the Copa America final, Messi Ooh. missed a crucial penalty in the shootout against Chile, oh, leaving Argentina oh, without a major title for 23 long years. It was heartbreaking, and seeing Messi in tears just added to the emotional roller coaster for fans. And soon after that devastating defeat, Messi dropped the biggest bombshell ever. Wait, did you do? 
by announcing his retirement oh. from international football, saying he'd given it his all, but he couldn't handle no. four final defeats. This was just one twist in the fairy tale. For Time for a big throwback to 1975, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 1975, the European Cup final against Bayern Munich, and Leeds United had high hopes for a triumphant moment in their okay. glory days. However, things took a pretty sour turn when they were denied a clear penalty and had a goal disallowed, leading to their defeat okay. by two goals in the final 20 minutes. The frustration was too oh. much for the Leeds fans, who showed their discontent by ripping up seats what? and destroying the, the city. Stadium, Unfortunately, fam. Leeds haven't made it that far. In 2006, it was time for okay. Zinedine Zidane, one of the greatest players of his generation, to say goodbye. The stage had already been set for a glorious ending, as his very last match was going to be the World Cup final. To make it even more beautiful, Ooh. Zidane's Panenka gave France an early lead, but things took a dramatic turn during extra time. Well, there's Zinedine Zidane. <laughs> oh, and he, well, well, he, he's just headed Materazzi in the middle of the chest. What was Zidane thinking of? And France eventually lost the penalty, with Materazzi even scoring for Italy. His big, bald head wouldn't get the shining end that he'd imagined. There is perhaps one person who could claim his header to be as iconic as Zidane's headbutt, and that Seriously is Sergio wrong. Ramos. Back in 2014, Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid were on an incredible run, and they were moments away from Champions okay. League glory. Facing their city rivals, Real Madrid, in the final, enough. they had the chance to create history. However, mm. Sergio Ramos, being the thorn in Atletico's side that he was for years, crushed their dreams with a 93rd minute equalizer. Modric's yes. Oh my god, that's a beautiful goal. That's a beautiful goal. Santa Ramos, the hero. That is a beautiful goal. Madrid scores a goal in the 93rd minute, which saves their skin in the final. Incredible stuff. And as if that wasn't enough, Atletico's hopes crumbled in extra time, leading Damn. to a 4-1 defeat. Their quest for European glory continued, and their fans were left with such a bitter taste of what might have been. But absolutely nothing could have compared to the sinking feeling that this what man must know? have been feeling. In the 2018 Champions League final, Loris Karius, <laughs> Liverpool's goalkeeper, had a night he'd rather forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Are you serious? You just gave it to him. Oh, that's the second one. Is the same match? Oh my god. What the hell were you guys thinking? No way. Carrius was inconsolable at the final whistle, and later it was revealed he might have actually been concussed during the match. Who's ready for another chunk of Champions League drama? The following year, in 2019, Tottenham Hotspur made history by reaching the Champions League semi-finals for the first time ever after what was possibly one of the craziest games in recent Champions League history all at the expense of the incredibly unlucky Manchester City. When it came to the closing Ooh. stages of the game, City only needed one more goal to complete an incredible Damn. fight back, having clawed their way back into the lead twice. Right at the death, Bernardo Silva played in Aguero, who set Raheem Sterling up for an incredible okay. winner, offside. only for the goal to be disallowed as offside. This one was absolutely uh. crazy. I do thought the moments up until now have been unlucky. This one, I've got to say, is just okay, downright well, tragic. Been. During the 1994 World Cup, Colombia were a team to be watched, a real dark horse, having topped their qualifying group with an impressive enough. performance. They even thrashed Argentina 5 0, earning some high praise no. from LA. With the nation's hopes riding on their shoulders, the Colombian team traveled to the World Cup with so much optimism. However, their dream quickly turned into Bye, a nightmare yeah. as they crashed out in the first round. But this early exit didn't come without consequences. During their defeat against the United States, Andre Escobar oh. scored an own goal which contributed to Colombia's 2-1 oh loss no, just five days I... after their elimination from the tournament Escobar was tragically murdered while sitting in his car outside a nightclub the defender was shot six, six times, times, and the horrifying details emerge later that his killers shouted goal oh. after each shot mirroring the commentary from the live broadcast of the match <laughs> oh my god that's so sad Six times. Ah, oh, poor guy. 
aftermath of Escobar's death was heart-wrenching, with an overwhelming 120,000 people attending his funeral to pay their respects. If there was one man that had truly been unlucky, it was Andre Escobar. Heartbreaking well, stories. that's going to be all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more craziest content. See you guys next time.